Hi guys! So it's time for my favorite month's favorites. July favorites. Okay, peeps, so you all know that July is my birthday month, which is why it's my favorite month. It's also the month where I kind of always fall sick, uh, at least in the last four or five years I have. Like last year I had malaria, this year I had COVID. That's why my first favorite is this guy. <laughs> okay, so this is a Health Sense steamer. Um, I'm still using it and it's also leaking on me because there's water falling out from the tank since I moved it. Uh, but uh, it is one of the best steamers in the market, okay guys? So I'm not someone who actually used to regularly steam or anything of the sort. But of course, I've had this crazy COVID cough that refuses to go away. And every time I say cough, <laughs> I have the urge to cough. It's okay, moving on. Uh, but this steamer has really helped with that. And I feel like I've used it through the month. And I've mentioned it before. I don't know whether it was my to buy or not to buy. But I've done like a full review, I know somewhere. But it is a real game changer. If you're looking for a good steamer, this guy. I mean, like, it just the, you know, you can steam for five minutes or 10 minutes, but the amount of steam that you get, it's just fat. Just, it's my favorite. My favorite thing is a steamer, guys. Up next, we have this guy. So, this is the Matrix Biolage Color Last. I don't know if it's still Matrix. It says Biolage actually on this. I remember it used to be called Matrix. Yeah, it is Matrix. Um, I had the yellow one years ago, which is for dry hair, which I loved, loved, loved. And I think I've spoken about it here as well. Not sure, but I used it for many years, many years ago. Um, I ran out of my conditioner, my regular conditioners right now. I've been using a lot of conditioner with my pink colored hair. And I just picked this up at the chemist when I was, you know, browsing, saying in between my uh, like fancy conditioner, I'll just use it. And I was amazed at how good this is. So my hair has been super soft. Like right now, you can see I've done nothing to my hair. This is not even blow dry. This is just air dry it. And you can see the shine. Uh, of course, there's no like because it's pink. But like, I feel like this is a really, really good option for someone on a budget. So this is not very expensive. This is 180 rupees for this. Uh, this is a smaller size, of course, 98 grams. But it is really, really good for colored hair. If you're looking for a conditioner for colored hair on a budget, loving this. On a happier note, let's talk favorite movies. Okay, so there are two. There's one that I watched at home online and one that I actually went to the theater to watch on my birthday. Top Gun, oh my God, what a movie. So, you know, normally like, um, like the sequels are always like not so good or especially after there's such a long gap like this one. Obviously, I saw the like OG Top Gun and when I was much younger and this one now. And a man, Tom Cruise, just he ages so well and he doesn't age at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, oh, what a movie. So well done. Definitely one of the nicest movies I've watched in the last couple of years with COVID. Check it out. Then we have a Netflix movie, The Grey Man. Again, so, so good for an online movie. Like Weber and I watched this together, one of our Sunday binges, and we kind of discussed that this could be like a theater movie. Like it's that good. Then we have these. Okay, so um, I have obviously always loved black flats because I feel like it's just the easiest thing to kind of pair most of your outfits with. And I like a kind of nicer, dressier flat that you can wear to events or otherwise. And you guys have been seeing me in these a lot, I'm guessing on Insta or even here when I get ready and go anywhere. These are from Charles and Keith. Love, love, love them. They just look so like fancy, even though they're like everyday flats and they're super comfy. These are definitely my favorite like flats right now. Okay, favorite song. I have two. First one. So it's Billie Eilish by Armani White. The beat on this song, everything. Like it's a dance song, it's a fashion song, it's an everything song. It's so good. Next one. Okay, so this is Quando 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 by Tony Rennes. Okay, so it's a very, very old song, 1962. Um, 
this version was actually playing in one of the K dramas I was watching, and I was like, I need to know which version of Kwando Kwando this is because I love Kwando Kwando and I love this, and I finally got it. If you like Kwando Kwando in any form or shape, you will like this. Okay, favorite moment. Now this one is related to the channel to work. Um, I don't know if you guys have watched my last video. I will link it here. It's a, a video. About uh, my favorite Maybelline lipsticks right now, and there's a huge giveaway, guys. So check it out. Um, enter the giveaway as well. Uh, but this video for me was a full circle moment. So um, a lot of you that have been following me for the last decade uh, know that the first video on this channel was a giveaway with Maybelline, uh, which was like in what 2013, and. It's crazy that um, today I'm collaborating with the same brand. Obviously, at that time there was no like um, you know money involved, or there was never. It wasn't even a collab like the collabs we have today. It was just me starting this channel after leaving the channel that I was with uh, a network on, and uh, I thought, oh, let's start with a giveaway. And uh, I reached out to the PR team then and said, you know, hi, I'm starting a new channel, and I would love to like do a giveaway. Would you like to collaborate? Today to see this video nearly a decade later is it's just it's quite crazy right like i feel like i've achieved a lot in my life in my career and it was one of those moments which was very fulfilling for me um when you know we decided to do this video i was like oh my god like it goes way back when you know what i mean so that was my favorite moment and check out the video obviously shamelessly always plugging my videos and into the giveaway then we have this guy who you have seen across i think my instagram for the last month or so i am super excited to have done this campaign with l'oreal um and i just want to tell you guys that you know for me this was one of those partnerships where um like most of my partnerships i really really love and enjoy the product uh, which is why i'm seeing this here this is not um, sponsored or part of like the campaign at all uh, but like yeah you can see the serum is over like there's just like one tiny bit left i have actually ordered my second bottle this is how much i love this one you know so i feel like for me when i do a campaign i always obviously test products uh, for a couple of weeks before i say yes or no to the brand and for me this is something that was instant you use it and you see that hydration that plumpness that the brand talks about and that it's meant to do any hyaluronic acid um it just worked so so well and i was pretty amazed which is why it's become a regular in my skincare routine now of course uh, must follow it up with a moisturizer and you know use it on a damp face and so on which I've started doing so. If you guys want like an updated skincare routine, also let me know in the comments. I can do that. I asked you guys in my last vlog also. I think because I have been using this and a new moisturizer um, and a different face wash. Actually, yeah, like things are a little different right now. So really, really love this. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about oh in my DMs on Instagram saying. uh you use the este serum and you use you know the loxy serum and how is this different from that this is just hyaluronic acid uh, guys those might have hyaluronic acid i'm not too sure uh, i think uh, anr does i'm not sure about the loxy one um but they are very different so this i think is more just for that hydration that moisturize like feeling that you want like oh my god my skin looks hydrated dewy fresh and it's very instant which i don't think you get with other stuff like that's more like a long term skincare game kind of situation but i am loving this right now time for my favorite shows i have watched a lot of stuff when i had covid guys i was in bed for a week and i literally just watch 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 okay so are you ready number 1 is man versus b now this is rowan atkinson mr bean is back um it is not and or like a mind blowing show but if you grew up watching mr bean like me you will really really enjoy this one i did for sure um it's very similar and he's just amazing you know then we have a k drama called our blues a beautiful beautiful story you know set in this town and each kind of episode revolves around a different character story and it's just so so beautifully done one of those k dramas that i would definitely highly recommend stranger things okay so it is like the season like the part 2 of the season came out and it's fab as usual 
I think this has been the best season ever. I think I said that last time also. It's just one of those shows that leaves you wanting more always and it's just so well packaged and yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say about it to make you watch it if you haven't watched it, watch it. Then we have the K-drama I'm currently watching which is Extraordinary Attorney Wu. Oh my god, this is one of the best K-dramas I've watched, guys. Highly 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 recommend this one. Um the lead actress is fantastic. She's playing uh, a an attorney who's on the autism spectrum and she's done such a fantastic job. The only issue is that it's episodic so two episodes a week so you have to wait for the episodes to come which is really annoying but because it's so good and you're like oh my god I want more. But even if you're not a fan of K-dramas this one cannot be missed. Then we have a reality show called Snowflake Mountain. Now this was one of my covid binges uh, do not judge me. It's basically all these did see snowflakey people who are not outdoorsy and stuff are taken to the camp site and then they it's a reality show and how they taught to survive and trek and ye and wo it's like masala fun like you know what i mean like as a reality show it's nice virgin river is back with another season of course this you know show is just one of those feel good english shows that takes you uh back to like for me it definitely takes me back to my childhood to like something my mom would watch and it's sad that i'm there now but <laughs> It's one of those shows that really feels good while you're watching it and um, it's a little predictable in spaces but it's nice. Okay, if you're a true crime person, the next one you will love which is uh, Indian Predator the Butcher of Delhi. Um I really really I wouldn't say enjoyed the series like oh my god yeah. Um it is quite like eerie and um, like whatever but it's really well done and if you're someone that likes true crime you will like this one then on hot star we have only murders um, in the building season 2 loving it season 1 was fantastic season 2 again is fantastic got um, steve martin selena gomez uh, just a really really good show again something that's episodic so you got to wait for episodes but it's good Then we have Candy which is about 4 5 episodes I think but so so good oh my god again it's a murder mystery but like so well done and uh, quite freaky but good then on Apple TV we have Loot which is again one of those shows um, like English shows that has everything drama comedy feel good overall it's about a rich woman who gets divorced and you know has a like a whole new flip in her life and stuff like that um very wholesome very good then on hey you okay i think i have gone through every kind of desperate housewife not desperate housewife real housewife sorry what am i saying a uh, real housewife of uh, so i've done real housewives of beverly hills the latest season which is i think the 13th season yeah i have watched 13 seasons i am new i have also watched the real housewives of dubai which is ongoing chanel ayan is my favorite love 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 her so much masala so much sass favorite show i watched their not road trip but the trip one also like housewives whatever so i have watched all the housewives basically when i had covid all i did was sit at home and watch every kind of reality thing that was out there because reality tv is my jam when i got to like sit from morning to night you know i don't know i just go through it seamlessly effortlessly and um, no matter how cringe it is i love it so guys those were my july favorites comment below with the things you've been loving in july food items shows products anything and i will see you soon bye